Hello my queens and welcome back. So today we are going to jump into a new palette. This is going to be the new Mulan palette. It is the Disney Mulan palette and it is Warrior Reflection palette. So you go ahead and, that was a bus, open it up. Oh my god, I can't. And we'll go ahead and flip over the plastic real quick open it up and this is what the inside of the palette looks like those are the shades it has two mirrors on both sides um, take off the plastic the eyeshadows are labeled after a lot of parts of the movie like family honor uh, warrior mushu bloom lucky cricket so I'm actually going to jump right into this. We ain't going to waste no time. I'm already primed and all that stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and take my little brush right here. My blending brush. Oops, I burped. And I'm going to dip into this shade right here. Family Honor. Now I did get this from Hot Topic. So i've heard a lot of mixed things when it comes to those um jeez oops wrong one i've heard a lot of like mixed reviews when it comes to like the eyeshadow palettes from there like the one that they had come out with for uh like the rugrats some people liked it some people hated it because of the like the i think it was the orange shade i think the name was cheeto it was kind of like super patchy and not the best um shade that there was in a palette for a shade of that color so um okay no complaints on the white right here um it is a little hard to blend for some reason like right here um i have some patchiness but i'm going to say that that's actually not the eyeshadow but that's actually me been having some skin changes a bit i've been using a new mask and it's been like helping so i feel like my skin's going through a good change so that's just me um next from there i'm gonna dip into the shade right here the shade right there if you can see it right there this one is warrior i'm gonna go ahead and put this one on the crease okay this one does have some fallout so we'll see the pigment oh, okay I don't have any eye shields today, so. Okay, not bad pigment, not bad. Let me actually get closer. I'm like so far away, I don't know why. Okay. Usually when I do an eye look, I like fast forward and do all that stuff, but I'm not going to do it today. Um, I wanted to just do a little talk with you guys and just converse. No, I was actually really excited when I saw this at, um at hot topic because i was like "Ooh, mulan you know you see so much of like cinderella and oops and like beauty and the beast and the little mermaid so it's nice to see like mulan getting her own palette getting her own like debut now just like every other little girl i did grow up with disney um so it's nice to see something like this. It's nice to own something like this at my age. Very nostalgic. Takes me back. As you guys can see, I'm like blending it upwards towards my brow bone. And that's only because this does this shade does have a lot of pigment. And it's blending out well. But like I said, my eye is going through some changes. My skin. So that patchiness is just me. So now that we have that shade, I'm actually going to go from the warm side and drip into this other side with my smaller blending brush and I'm gonna hop into this one right here I think it says dishonor your cow I'm gonna let y'all see that and let me know what y'all think it's this shade right here I think it says dishonor your cow I don't I don't remember that in the movie so this one also does have some fallout take off some of the excess a lot of excess and then just, I want it to be a little tighter in the crease, which is why I got my small one. And I'm just going to throw it in there. It is like a dark blue, so it will add um, some depth right there. 
this shade this palette doesn't have black which I'm okay with so I'm just tossing this like dark blue into the crease and then just kind of plop it right there like that so I'm just gonna angle my brush and then just take off some of the excess and I'm gonna keep my head up like this while I look into the camera just like this and then just kind of blend that into each other just like that okay so if you notice I did leave this part right here to be um, there's nothing there so I'm gonna go with my packing brush and I'm was gonna do Mushu this shade right here but I decided that I was not gonna do Mushu so I'm actually gonna do this purple over here bravery but what I'm gonna do is take my glitter primer first and this is the one by Rude Cosmetics and I'm just gonna take a little and pop it right there kind of blend it somewhat blend and then kind of leave it a bit tacky not too blended out and just put it right there right in the middle so now that that is on I'm gonna go ahead and check that real quick in the mirror and put that kind of right there in that part that I left and right now that it's tacky take my packing brush and dip into this purple shade right here of bravery this one does also have some fallout and I'm gonna just press it right into where I put the glitter primer if you guys don't know uh, glitter primer is legit <laughs> and I'm just gonna place it just like that I'm actually not even gonna bring it down this way like I usually do I'm gonna leave it right here I'm gonna kind of circle it out the way I'm doing it just like that I'm gonna take my finger now and then just get a little bit more of that shade and then just kind of press it in like that bring it up just kind of like that and leave it like that just in that little part where I left it now what I'm gonna do is take my, this crease brush which is a lot smaller and it's a lot more you can't really see it but it's a lot more right there look somewhat like packed together and I'm going to dip into the shade at the bottom right here called ancestors just a little just like that take off the excess and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around what I put but I'm gonna do like a little U so I'm just gonna drag it like this just a couple times just like that so just get a little bit of the product and then just kind of do like that little U just like that make sure I get it right here in the inside right here that shade does is purple and it does have a little bit of shimmer so just to I don't want it to be too shimmery there I'm gonna dip back into this blue shade right here knock off some and then just do the same over it just like that so I can have both uh, the dark purple and the blue but the shimmer will be somewhat like um, kind of like dulled out a bit and there we go just like that so if in case I took any off I'm just gonna shove some back on just like that now for the bottom what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip in to the shade oop you can't even see me now I'm gonna dip into Mushu and I'm gonna run this it is look look at this okay like dang there's pigment and but there's like a crap ton of fallout so I'm just going to drag it on the bottom since I did pick up a lot there is some fallout and it's like pouring into my eyeballs but that's okay and this have a bit of fallout as you can see 
but we are not going to worry about that at the moment. Okay. So I'm going to just pack this right here, get close, and then drag it out like that. When I do my under eye, for some reason, I have to like crunch my eye like this. And then like drag it and put it apply the fun the foundation the eyeshadow so now that that's done I'm gonna take my brush right here and then just kind of flick off whatever fell underneath just like that and that is that right there now what I'm gonna do is dip into reflection up here Everyone knows where Reflection comes from. It's the song that she sings in the mirror. And as much as I would like to sing it, um, I just poke my eye. I can't remember how it goes completely. I haven't seen the movie Mul Mulan, Move on. Mulan in such a long time that it's sad that I can't remember the, na the way the song goes completely. I know it's who I'm like really trying to remember who is that girl I see? there you go who is that girl I see staring straight back at me there we go when will my reflection show who I am inside and this placing reflection on the brow bone and I'm going to dip into this one and just go over like that so I can blend those two together so the brow bone is not extremely like over lighted but we're cool with that so now that we are done with the look part I'm going to apply my lashes which I'm not gonna do fake lashes fake <laughs> false lashes today because I just ain't feeling it and then we'll come back and I'll go into a little bit more depth on this All palette right, so we are back and this is the finished um, look now my thoughts um I did buy this as in like oh it's Mulan it's cute you know it throws me into my childhood and I went I went in kind of like thinking you know this palette is not going to be the greatest palette that's ever been made but then I think to myself this ain't Kylie so of course it's gonna be good I actually really really like it uh the pigment it, it has pigment it's pigmented as you can see I the only thing I had is that I had a little bit of patchiness with one of the shades but well two of the shades but also like I said I've been having like dry skin so that was me so I think <laughs> Um, so this is the Mulan palette. It is cute. The packaging is cute. You open it up and it does come with the shades right there. The brush that it came with, I threw that shit out. It was stupid. <laughs> That's the only thing that was pretty damn dumb, so I threw that shit away. So it's like, you know, your warms, your warm tone over here, your uh, cool tones, and then you have... I'm trying to hold it, but... Ugh this shade right here which is your metallic and then it does come with the mirrors on both sides this one it is has some words up here some lettering and then mushu down at the bottom and on the other one it says on the bottom the flower that blooms in adversary i don't have my glasses guys the, the flower that blooms in adversary is the most rare and beautiful of all so being different is good and besides like i always say why in the hell would you want to be like everybody else everybody else is taken just be yourself so I'm gonna go through the shade names for you. It's Family Honor, Guardian Spirit, Warrior, Mushu, Bloom, Magnolia. Then it's Reflection, Great Stone Dragon, Dishonor, and I swear to God that says Dishonor in your cow. And then it says Lucky Cricket, Bravery, and Ancestors. So all the things that remind us of the movie and of course the little dude is hanging out up there with his bug eyes. So 
total i really like the palette um it is something that i will be using again and dipping into maybe you'll see it in a couple more videos i will be going into another i guess color scheme on my instagram so make sure you all follow me there and that is the end of this video now i hope you all have a wonderful day and i will see y'all later like subscribe and comment